Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to paint skin weights. In the last video, we rigged this character using the quick rig tool, which is here. Uh, and we rigged this character and everything seems to be working fine except for the deformations in the geometry. Uh, everything seems to, let me click on this handle and you can see that the torso is moving when I move the head. You can see that the, the legs and the knees bent awkwardly because we still need to paint the skin weights. And so let's go ahead and get that done. Since this character has been built with articulating parts, that means every part is separate. Not everything is built this way. This is a very, very simple character that we just created so that we can get introduced into rigging. Sometimes you'll have the character all built in one piece. And so you need to deform that mesh correctly. And so I'm gonna show you how to paint skin weights so that uh, when you bend the head, the torso doesn't um, bend funny. So let's go ahead and get started. I am going to select uh, for example, the head. Here's the head. We're going to do this, unfortunately, part by part. And so I may speed up some of this process because it's the same. Uh, but I'm going to show you with the head and the torso. And then maybe we'll do one arm. Let me see how the arm reacts. And so, yeah, it's bending all weird. In fact, it breaks at the at the wrist. So maybe we should start on the arm. All right, let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna start on the arm uh, because the arm is pretty bad. Look at that. It Not only does the elbow bent all weird, but we even get a break. It breaks right there in the, in the wrist. So that's not good. Let's go ahead and paint this using uh, skin weights. And let's get this arm done and I'll get the rest of the body done and I may speed up the process here because it's all repetitive. Once you know how to do it on one section of the body, it's just repetitive and repeating the same technique on the rest of the body. So let's go ahead and get started. I am going to select this hand. There it is, the left hand. And I am going to bring up my paint skin weights tool. There it is. And I am going to bring up the uh, tool settings right there and so you can see that this hand is being controlled by all these joints and I only want it controlled by one joint which is this one this one right here so we want this hand controlled by the left hand and so we're going to select this one and we're going to flood it with 100%. So the minimum and maximum value is 1 to 0. Uh, right now it's set to 1 and we're going to flood it with white so that it's controlled by the left hand. Going, going um, back towards the shoulder, we're going to select the wrist. And the wrist is right here. So the wrist, we're going to do left hand also. Let's go ahead and flood it. Uh, the next thing is the lower arm left, lower arm left. And you can see that that's all grayed out. Uh, and we're going to do this one by the left forearm and then flood it. Uh, the elbow, left elbow. And we're going to do this. Uh, by the left forearm. Which one is it? We could do either one of these, but let's do the forearm. Flood it. The left upper arm. We're gonna we're gonna have that being controlled by the left shoulder. Uh, and in fact, here it's being called the left arm. They think the shoulder is this one inside, uh, but we're gonna do left arm flood it. The left shoulder here, this one, left arm, flood it. And if we bent this again, 
W. You can see how that arm works now and nothing is being distorted. Everything is acting correctly. Uh, anywhere you put that arm, see that? Uh, it's acting normal. And so I'm gonna go um, and get the other arm done. I'm gonna go and get the torso done and the leg is just the same thing. Just uh, selecting, here I'm gonna show you. Just selecting a, a part of the body, going to the paint skin weights, opening up the tool settings, and this foot is going to be controlled by probably the left foot. Flood it. The left ankle, left foot, flood it. The left um, shin, right there, is going to be controlled by the left leg, and then flood it. Hey guys, I'm gonna go ahead and speed up the process. Um, I'm gonna get everything skin weighted, uh, paint all the skin weights, and then I'll see you on the other side. Hey guys, I think I have everything um, already, um, all the skin weights painted already. So we're gonna check out this character, see if I move the head. Uh, I'm gonna select the head handle, hit W to move. And now I could see that the torso is not being affected, which is good. Um, if I move the torso and the knees bend, now they're not getting distorted at all. Everything's looking good. Uh, and if I move the arm, it's not being distorted like it was at the beginning. And so I just painted all the skin weights for this. Not a big deal. Uh, everything is here. Again, you select the object, you grab the paint uh, tool, the skin weights paint tool, and then you open up the uh, tool settings, you select what joint is going to control the head, in this case it's the head, and then you flood it with that controller. That way the entire geometry of the head will be controlled by this one joint. Now, if you wanted to, if you wanted to control, give it a little bit of control, you can start painting let's say taking away the control and you can paint the control. I'm gonna undo that. But for this purpose, since the character is articulated and it's got and it's made out of several different parts, it's easy for me just to select the head and flood it with 100%, oh, oops, value one, 100% uh, control of the head joint. Hey guys, this is it for painting the skin weights. Everything seems to be working fine. Hey guys, if you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe and I will see you on the next video. Thank you guys.